well here it is it is now one year old since registration one of the first 2022 models to hit the uk option of 19 inch wheels black paint as you can see and that is it reflection looks quite good today i'm not even polished it my god so let's have a year's review how bad it is how good it is how bad it's been how good it's been Welcome to this glamorous location I've chosen today, Loughborough Car Park, main town. Look at that down there. Hey, let's get back to what we've come here for. And that is the review. One year, one year old, this Tesla Model 3 that I'm standing next to now. As I said before, I have not had this for a year. I've had this from four months old. Um, I bought it used to save me £4,000 and I wasn't willing to wait the 8 to 11 months for Tesla to get me this in black with the 19 inch option. Standard model LFP. Nearly 9,000 miles on it. Um, I'm going to say this from the off. Totally trouble free so far. Interior. Now, I'm not, I've not cleaned this up. I've not given it a clean, I've not polished it. I've not been silly and thought I'm gonna show it in its best form. You're seeing this now as I use it on a daily basis. If it keeps going bright, it's because these lights in here come on sensors. And like I say, I'm in the glorious situation of Loughborough Car Park. Marvellous. Um, no glamorous settings for me, folks. Um, so yes, interior. Let me just get inside it with you. I'm going to turn this music off because I don't want to strike. So yeah, just to prove what I am. There you go. Car park in Loughborough. I'm not on the very top there. I'm about the second level. I'll get this clacky diesel up. This is why I've picked a Tesla. Listen to it. Clack, 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 clack. Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, I've decided to get in some better light so you can see this interior for what it is. Now, let's have a look. Passenger seat here, there is absolutely zero wear anywhere on any of this seating. Even, you know, I know it's only 9,000 miles and it's a year, but there's no seat bolster wear. There's no markings anywhere on here. Excuse the tiny bit of dust you might see. Excuse the, the mess and everything else. It needs a clean, like I said from the start. Steering wheel no mess no tags no nothing all in perfect order nothing coming loose headlinings and everything else is all still perfect all still in position as it should be door panels again i'm quite careful in and out i've got big pessics as you see but um yes it, it's just zero wear anywhere so i'm very very happy all the stitching is still all in one here's your driver's seat again bolsters nothing nowhere at all i mean i can just about see a tiny crease there but i think that was there when i got it anyway again excuse the bits in here you shouldn't be looking at them um but yes i've got to say the interior has held up brilliant so anyone who says anything about the build quality uh and the materials used uh in 2022 Tesla is talking up the back sides. I've had rear passengers in here. So yes, that is the interior. Good news there. I'm going to show you all four wheels. This is uh, this has been through one winter here in the UK and a very hot summer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a year. So the, the wheels are a year old. So let me just show you the wheels and I'll show you the condition they're in. Okay, front right hand side. I've not curbed any of these. So that's front right. No wear, no 
pit marks, no nothing on that front wheel. All four alloy optional wheels are perfect. Let's go back inside. All four windows still go up and down as they should. Every single switch in here still works perfectly. Okay, let's just get that right. There is nothing that I can actually say does not operate still 100%. So that's gotta be good. You know, the front still pops up, no problem at all. The power trunk still works perfectly. No issues whatsoever there. All the lights, and believe me, these are lovely bright red when you see them away from this camera. All the lights are all still perfect. The LED lights, the matrix lights on the front are absolutely amazing. Um, you won't see them because they're not on, but trust me, these matrix lights are stunning in the dark and still a year on. Perfect. Wipers, even the blades are still good. All the cameras are all still working perfectly. Top, middle, bottom, you name it, they're all there. Every single one, and especially the, the back one, of course, right tucked under there, look. So yeah, all the cameras are still mint. It is locked, but while I'm here, all still work mint. I've had no issues whatsoever with this side of it. The flat will close again in just a moment when I come away from it. Uh, like I say, no issues at all with the charging cycles. Has charged up every single time. There was an issue when I had my new charge point put in down here, as I think I've mentioned before, but it was nothing to do with the actual car itself. It's because Project TV, um, the, these early ones, I've always had a bit of an issue with Tesla cars. And so all I had to do was turn the amperage down to 25 amp on there instead of the 32 that it should charge with. Um, that obviously takes the charge rate down a bit, but hey, that's not the car. So I can't include and call that. It's that thing, not the car. Okay, since I've had it, um, I've had on the computer quite a few free downloads over here upgrades whatever you want to call them I, I would suggest i've had five i guess in the eight months i've owned this car seven months eight months i've owned the car and i still keep getting more and more and don't forget these are totally free from tesla just makes things better as you go along um helps the charging it's, it updates your navigation blah 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 everything still works so all this garbage, you know, that I've, I kind of read before I bought a Tesla, going on about build quality and, you know, rubber seals giving up the ghost. And I just don't know where it all came from. You're going to get the odd lemon of a car. But I can honestly say, overall, if we're saying it's a year old, 9,000 mile on the clock, I don't drive it slow, nothing has gone wrong, and it's all perfect. I can't say no more than that, really. The tires, as you can see, these are the original 235 4019 Han Hooks. Okay, there you go. Still the originals on all four wheels. Actually, tread left on them. A good four, maybe five millimeter of tread left on them. Plenty of tread on that. Not so much on the back. I think the backs took a bit more than the fronts. So I'm expecting to change them at around 13, 14,000 mile. And I will do all four. Let's face it, EVs are slightly heavier. EVs do wear tyres down a bit quicker than your normal ICE car. It's only one of the very minor issues with them. But some tyre manufacturers now are creating their own tyre brands purely for EVs to make them last longer. So that's got to be a good thing. Because that's where all the investment's going, folks, into these EVs. Hardly any investment in fossil fuel cars. It's all going down to electric cars so that's the tires quite happy about that now i won't mention too much regarding the charging side of this car and what it's done over the last year because i have got a video out that one there if you want to look at that that will tell you all about the degradation that i've seen in this vehicle and being the lfp super minor um, so yeah watch that video um, that will open your minds regarding what's happened with the degradation of the car over its first year
so I'm not going to dwell on that one. So can I think about any negatives? I'm struggling here. I am struggling to find a negative about the Tesla Model 3. You all know um, I have owned a lot of big V8 muscle cars and American stuff over 40 years and I know things have moved on and I know that you know electric cars are the future. I've always looked back and thought what's the best car I ever owned? Well so far and I know this is an expensive car I know it's expensive this has to be the best car I've ever owned. It's It's been very near a couple of the Mustangs I had and one Camaro, um, but I, I, I would never look back now. I could not dream and even thinking about going back to a fossil fuel car, as you'll find on one of my videos, this one here. Yeah, that mentions all about why I would never go back to a, a fossil fuel car. Check it out on the, on the channel. If, there, if we were gonna be negative about anything, it would be the fact that over the last eight months since I own this car, I was charging this thing up when I first had it for around 24p a kilowatt hour. Um, now I'm paying 40p at home here, but I can still get as cheap as 28p at Tesco supermarkets or whatever. So I, I will say that yes, the cost of running this vehicle has gone up. So if that's seen as a negative, that's not just to do with Tesla, that's every EV on the planet. But it's also every fossil fuel car. So before you ice people who are watching this thinking, ha, 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 ha. think about how much you're actually paying for your diesel and petrol now per gallon. It is frightening. If you go back a year ago, you were paying 120. Now look at it. I've seen diesel again today at 193, a litre, not a gallon, a litre, my US viewers. Yeah, one pound 93, what a litre. So nine pound a gallon roughly now, diesel still. So you are welcome to that. And so I'll take the kick up the ass for paying a bit more for my EV charge ups, because it still works out that it's doing around, if I take my time, it estimates around 140 to the gallon. If you're paying nine pound for your gallon of diesel and getting 50 mile or 55 mile out of it, or even 65 mile, for that same amount of money, charging up at Tesco or even here at home, I'm, I'm getting 140 mile equivalent for that same nine pound. Do the maths, folks. So although I'm saying it's a, it's a negative, I'm still on the good side. So I'm a happy bunny. And let's remember here, folks, I've put something in the equation of about 5,000 mile on this car. And the 5,000 mile have all been done with zero exhaust emissions. Nothing polluted out the back of this vehicle for 5,500 miles since I had this vehicle. And I just thought of a negative. The roof. The glass roof see that from here all the way back yep it's a beautiful thing the glass roof but i do wish you'd have put a blind over here so that you could actually just pull a blind or electric so that you could get covered in the real hot sun because it, it doesn't magnify it much and it doesn't don't get me wrong it doesn't make the car any hotter to a point Obviously it does a tiny bit, but not as much, because it is tinted and it is anti-glare and all the rest of it. But yeah, that would be a good idea. So I'm gonna say that as a negative, this lovely glass roof could do with a blind. Wow, I found something. If you're thinking about buying a Model 3, do not hesitate, just go out and get one. You won't regret it. it they are great cars, they are great cars. And if you can turn your, you know, your emotions around to leaving that sound behind from that exhaust, and also having a mindset difference of charging things at home every time you come home at night and just putting it in while you sleep, you'll have no issues, trust me. So with that, I'm going to be out of here. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, I hope you find it informative and educational. And if you're the first time here, where you've been, I say it every time. We'll see y'all later.